One health check. Four hours. Total peace of mind. Beacon Hospitals Health Check is Ireland's only advanced health screening programme with results delivered on the same day. This is modern medicine. This is Beacon Hospital. Book your Beacon Health Check today at beaconhospital.ie. German dominance, true precision engineering, raw power. BMW has been one of the world leading manufacturers since 1916, and here at Mondello Park, you can find out why. New to 2017, our BMW driving experience packages are the perfect opportunity to get behind the wheel of some of the best cars on the road in the form of the M2 Coupe or M4 Coupe. Simply pick your desired choice or drive both. Book today at MondelloPark.ie. So it's Irish Supercars time. Irish Supercars powered by Pirelli, the class that has come back into Irish motorsport in the last few years. ASK Racing run the series. They've reintroduced them. They used to be called RT2000 Supercars. Uh, Two-litre engines, six-speed sequential boxes, very, very potent motor cars. This is race two. We've lost a couple of cars in race one, but Peter Barable starts on pole position for this one. Alongside him, title rival, 48, Alan Dawson. Then 15, Alan Kessie, the man behind the class from ASK Racing. Number seven, Gary Corcoran, has gone so well in this class on his graduation from Formula Shane. Then Pat McBennett and Ray Finnegan. Five second board is up away, they go, and Barable rockets away from nine. This is a, almost a championship decider. They've got a round in Brands Hatch after that, but it's between these two guys at the front. Barable leads, Alan Dawson in second, both hugely experienced. Corcoran down the outside on the brakes and looking for a run around the outside of Alan Kessie there. Kessie holds him off, but Kessie slowing on the way to turn three. Possibly a problem with the black car dropping back. And uh, Alan Dawson will be happy to see that because he could have run with these two guys up front and got involved in that championship battle. But uh, Peter Barable now trying hard. You can see the back of the car moving around, trying to get away. And Dawson with him. These two already easing clear. They'd be a lot more experienced. Uh, a lot of wins between these two. Barable would have won on the circuit and on the rally stages. Alan Dawson racing for many years. Out over the curb. A little bit too much commitment on uh, cold Pirelli tyres there for Dawson as he goes right out over that curb and splashes up a little bit of water. That slows him just a little bit. And Barable really on it now in the early stages. He knows how close they are in terms of pace and he knows his best chances to get away in the early laps on cold tyres. That's exactly what he's doing. He's a former champion two years ago in this class. Uh, Michael Barable Motors, his father's company all over the side of the car, main Hyundai and Fiat dealer in Airside on the north side of Dublin. And he's beginning to ease away, but Alan Dawson won't let him go too easily. Alan Dawson in the Sean Woods racing, immaculate Mr. Gearbox, Mr. Clutch car, right there in second place. But what an opening lap by Barable. He's four or five lengths clear already. Normally, these two guys stuck together. There's Pat McBennett, interesting one. Pat McBennett normally races a uh, Lotus. It does a lot of track days and tuition and car preparation and uh, having a go in the supercars and expect him to move up just a little bit. He's very, very quick. In fact, as I say it, he's up to third place ahead of Corcoran now, down into the first corner. Good stuff from Pat McBennett. And uh, Corcoran have just reliveried this car. He's got a body shop down in County Wicklow, ex formerly Shane driver, as we said, and has done superbly. He's already had a few podiums in this class in his debut year. Out to turn three now, and Barable super smooth. Usually you see these cars moving around at the back, but this one is nailed down. Very well set up, and Barable super smooth and still easing away, and nothing Alan Dawson can do about it. And this is unusual because Dawson normally right up there with him, but it's championship deciding time. Dawson leads at the moment. Barable needs this win. He won the first race earlier on today, and he needs to win the second race to bring the title chase to Brands Hatch in October. So Barable now really trying hard. Brake lights on as he goes through. Bahrain's bends, the right-hander, then the left-hander. And again, not getting the car out of shape. Having watched these cars for years, normally you can see the back of the car moving around or, or drifting just a little bit. The Sayets are running at the same time on track, and one of them has gone off, Barry English. That may cause a safety car. Let's have a look as Barry English walks away from that car embedded in the gravel at the final corner, Southside Motor Factors. Indeed it does. The BMW Ireland safety car is out on track, the M2. Very potent motor car. He's leading them around with the flashing lights on. Once those lights go out, we'll know it is time to go racing again. Dawson takes the opportunity to move right up under the big back wing of the ASK car of uh, Barable. Mondello Park track team doing a beautiful job as ever. John Rock and the team pulling that car clear. And the lights are off on the BMW safety car. And uh, here come the pack absolutely flying. Everybody having a go. Nobody asleep. They're all together as they head up the hill. Barable doesn't have to cover the inside because you can't overtake until you go by the start finish line. So Dawson knows this as well. Second gear, third, fourth, fifth, up through the gearbox of these cars. But Barable again with that good run out of the final corner and just beginning to ease away now from Alan Dawson. 
straight away. And look at this for second place. McBennett on the inside. Corcoran having a go down the outside. Gets the nose ahead. McBennett just takes it back. Great stuff. Uh, last of the late breakers down into turn one. That's Raymond Finnegan there. Next up having a grandstand view of that battle in front. Barable now still leading, but uh, Dawson trying to hold the gap. He'll know the Barable's quicker, but he'll really be trying. Tires up to temperature this time, and he's definitely a little bit closer than he was down into turn one. Good commitment from Dawson through the first bit of turn three and closes the gap as they get to the second bit, the second gear. But now you can see the cars beginning to move around just a little bit at the back as the drivers stamp on the power, asking a little bit much of these Pirelli tires. These cars capable of going around Mondello Park uh, historically in well under a minute, but uh, they used to use a lot of tyres. They were very expensive to run back in the day. They moved on to this Pirelli tyre. It's almost as quick as the tyres they used previously, and it lasts a lot longer, so the costs have come down. There are a lot of cars available for rent and to buy to get into this class, and uh, a quick way of getting around Mondello Park, as we said, there's Dawson, the beautifully prepared Sean Woods car. Sean Woods been preparing cars for many, many years in Castle Bellingham and County Loud, and that car immaculate, as we would expect. McBennett tries to get up the inside. Cork has got the better of him, though, this time, and leads in third place across the line getting used to uh, ASK supercar podiums is Gary Corcoran and he'd love another one today but he's going to have to work for it because McBennett is hugely experienced and probably has more laps around Mondeau Park than anybody else on the grid here he's uh, big into track days as we said in tuition and he's at almost every track day in Mondello Park so he knows every inch of this circuit Barable a good wide line gets turned in right into the apex no opposite lock on the way out the car looks really well set up as does Dawson's Corcoran more interested now in uh, holding back McBennett for the podium than he is in uh, trying to catch the two cars in front. So Barable now heading out towards us. He'll be heading for a big Dublin Crystal Trophy. They're uh, one of the sponsors of this class. They've done a good job. They've got uh, Monsoon Coffee and Kyo's Crisps involved. So you get well fed in the ASK garage. And uh, Dublin Crystal supply the trophies down the inside. There goes McBennett. And Corcoran gives him racing room but sits around the outside. Brave stuff from him. And a good battle between these two. Plenty of respect. No panel bashing. Historically, again, this class would have been uh, there would have been a lot of damage in it back in the day. But these two guys giving each other racing room. Corcoran getting the car out of shape there on the brakes. A little twitch, but hangs onto it. And uh, Pat McBennett right in his wheel tracks now as they come out of Southside Corner and down the main straight one more time. And uh, they're not too far from Dawson. You get the feeling if they stop battling, they'd be able to possibly haul Alan Dawson in because even with the battling and uh, defending and attacking, they're keeping Alan Dawson in sight. They're within about seven or eight lengths of the Mr. Gearbox car. So good stuff from these two guys. But uh, nobody bothering Peter Barable. And uh, well, well out in front. Did all the work in the early laps and had to do it again, of course, when the safety car came out. But no problems for him now. And he's still just easing away. Class of the field at the moment. One wonders if there's a little bit of an issue for Alan Dawson because Alan, very, very quick, has won many races and many championships. Raced 205s, raced strikers, raced global GTs. Hugely experienced and would normally be right up there with Barrable. Beautiful balance from Corcoran as he flings the car into Bridgestone Corner there. Uh, very well set up car and he's obviously quite comfortable with it. A little bit of a drift as he turned it in there. Barrable's car still very well nailed down. The Michael Barrable Motors car down the long back straight up at the sixth gear of these cars. Here they come back onto the national track again. Big commitment there. Final lap now for Barrable. Having a little bit of fun. Fires it in over the curb. He'd be delighted with this. It'll keep his championship hope together and a Dublin Crystal Trophy will be coming his way two in one weekend. Here comes Barrable. There's the team on the left. Vinny and the boys from ASK Racing. John Cardew delighted with that one. Peter Barrable takes the win. Dawson takes second place. And incredibly, Corcoran gets another podium. Great stuff after a cracking battle with Pac McBennett for third place. Yeah, it was a pretty straightforward race. Thanks to God. I got a great start, um, led away. I got a bit of a gap in the first lap. And then the safety car came out. And um, same again, I got a, got a really good restart. And uh, just got away again in the first couple of corners. I made the hold the gap to Alan the whole way. And thanks to God, yeah, two out of two and out of the weekend. Delighted. Actually, I thought I timed the two good. I knew I was going to catch the safety car at one stage, but it was all right in the end. Yeah.